everybody. How you doing, or do I have to ask? All right, good, wonderful. My topic this morning is don't stop believing. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? So this morning I want to talk about the power of belief. But big surprise, huh? But what we want to remember, always remember, is that belief is the language of the spirit. All right? And, and through our belief, amazing things can happen. What? If we can just believe it. We can bring amazing things in our life if we can just believe it. Now, for some reason, for many of us, that doesn't compute. For some reason, we think it's got to be more than that. And I, I just want to share some stories with you this morning about belief. Um, but before I get to the stories, there's something I want to remind us of, and that is that things happen in our lives because they can. Yeah, because they can. And, and, and the reason that they can is that our belief makes them possible, right? All right, so, so there's this great commercial. There are a lot of really great commercials on. You know I love commercials, right? <laughs> And I, I'm the one who watches TV for the commercials because these advertising agencies get it. They really get it. And AT&T has this great commercial and their slogan is, rethink possible. Not possibility, rethink possible. Rethink what you believe is possible. And I have to say that as being a part of the human race, I think we've done a lot of good. I think we've gone a long way in terms of thinking or rethinking possible, especially in the technology area. I was looking online yesterday at an iPhone, and I was looking at all the different applications that you can download to this telephone. And it was, it was kind of mind-blowing. You know what I mean? It's like you could download recipes, you could check yourself in at the airport, turn off the lights in your house when you're not there, hold up your phone to the radio when it's playing and, and the iPhone will tell you who the artist is and the band is and if you want to you can order the tickets from them right there online and they tell you when they're coming to town. It's amazing. It's amazing. So we have done some amazing things technology-wise. However, I kind of wonder if maybe we need to do a little bit more work in terms of thinking or rethinking possible at the individual level, at the level of our own lives. See? This morning I'm going to tell you six stories I hope to get all six in, that, that really touched me over the past week. And they're wonderful stories, but the thing about them is, is that there's nothing mind-blowing about them, there's nothing unbelievable about them, and yet they're life-changing. Okay? So the question, though, that we want to ask ourselves in our focus this morning is, that, again, things happen in our lives. Why? Because they can, okay? And then, also, the thing that we want to question ourselves about. You know, there's always a little catch when Dar is up here. But do I believe they can happen to me? See, we can see all kinds of things happening to other people in the world and say, oh, that's great and wonderful. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, you know, I've seen that before. But can it happen to you? That's the focus this morning. I want you to turn every single one of these stories on yourself and ask yourself that question. All right? So the first story, I love this story, and it's a story about the musical group Journey, who just, just happened to write the song, Don't Stop Believing." 
And um, <laughs> now the interesting thing about this is they were very popular in the 80s and 90s. And in 1996, the lead singer, Steve Perry, left the group. And for about 10 years, this group was kind of kind of stalled out. You know, the <laughs> journey was stalled, the, okay? <laughs> they were looking for a lead singer with that Steve Perry sound. They were looking for someone that could, that sounded, that, that, that could pretty much align himself with the old songs, the sounds of the old songs, but at the same time infuse some new energy into the group with, with a, a, a new energy, his own new energy. And, um, and after looking for 10 years, one night, the lead guitar player, Neil, was surfing the web. And he just punched in uh, the name of one of Journey's songs. And up comes this guy on YouTube singing one of their uh, very, very famous songs. And in that moment, Steve, uh, the, Neil heard the sound that they had been looking for for 10 years, right there. And it was coming from a man by the name of Arnel Pineda, who lived in the Philippines. And Ar Arnel had been in poverty, he had been hungry, he had been poor, he had been homeless, and he had just kind of gotten to the point where he was uh, singing with different bands. And he was living paycheck to paycheck. When his, one of the performances that he did was uploaded on YouTube. And guess who heard it? Neil from Journey. And the rest is history. The rest is history. But you know, there's a principle involved in this story. And this is what we do in Science of Mind 1. We don't just talk about different things that happen to us. We talk about the principle involved in what's happening to us. Now, the principle that's involved is supply and demand. See, what we're looking for and believing in not only has to be possible, it has to be available. Now think about that for a moment. It doesn't just have to be possible. It must be available to us. Otherwise, we could not be thinking of it. Dr. Ernest Holmes told us that desire is the thing itself in its incipiency, in its beginning stage. And that when we have a desire, it's, the, it's spirit's way of telling us that that very thing is already on its way. How many of you view your desires that way when they show up? 